What's good everybody? 2020! I'm Obi the Show. This is our first video in the year 2020, Roaring Twenties. And you know what else is new? The brand new Atrin merch is here. Go check it out. I got my links down below. This sweatshirt right here is one of the softest sweatshirts I've ever had. Alright, so go check it out. Teespring. Look at that, baby. Look at that! But today we've got another conquest map, so that means I'm gonna be opening up the packs that we got from it, and I'll show you guys where all the hidden packs are. They kind of teased that it was going to be shark conquest map-like, and it, it really wasn't even that close. It is a little bit smaller. Let's actually just head into it right now. It's a little bit smaller. It's called the 2020 map, I believe. Yeah, the 2020 year conquest map. So it's a little bit smaller than what we've been seeing. There are 15 packs in here, but they aren't that great. There's one really good pack in it, though. I got to give you that one very, very good pack. And then, of course, this goes towards your 11th inning program. So if we look at everything here, if you don't want to do the conquest, strongholds you don't have to but there are seven teams this time around so a lot quicker i did it did seem like uh it took me a little bit longer to do this though like the ai was a little bit smarter in this one but only seven strongholds and 15 total packs so let's go see which packs we can open up from this conquest this time around so we've got standard packs bonds of habit more standards Headliners bundle the legends and flashback a finest anything from set one to set three a 30 choice player pack And this is the one this is the best one that you can get out of this. It is the signature choice pack Yes, you can get a rare out of it. So 99 overall will be the rare. That's what we're gonna be looking for today Otherwise, it really wouldn't be you know as worth it remember these packs are free conquest is free so might as well do this anyways before we get to opening these packs and revealing where all the hidden packs are make sure you guys leave a like on this video and a subscribe let's make a great 2020 i do want to remind you that i am streaming on twitch a lot more right now we are going on a streak of daily streams on Twitch. So check that out. It's been popping over there. Um, just get ramped up for MLB The Show 20, all right? Let's get into our packs, and then we're going to reveal where all the packs are for you guys and give you a little insight of how I did all of my um, conquests this time around for the 2020 map. I hope everyone had a happy new year. I hope everyone stayed safe. I hope everyone's still alive. Uh, it's, it's, it's a new decade. You know, we got we got to make we got to make and finish big goals for this year. So, it feel it feels weird though. It feels weird saying it's 2020. It's you know, the the years are going by quickly. I can't believe it. We are going into our fourth year of content creating on YouTube, and I think this is the year. This is the year that we're going to make huge waves. Last year was a good year. You know, we we reached 31,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh Twitch was starting to pop for us, so Last year was a good year. We want to take a bigger leap this time around. Tell me some of your goals in the comments section down below if you have any big goals for 2020. And, you know, I mean, in the future, in the next 10 years, I guess. What are your goals for the next 5 to 10 years? Leave them in the comments down below. As these standard packs... We're going through these pretty quickly because they're not that good. If you've seen my recent streams, we've been opening up bundles of the headliners. And oh my god, one night in 30 minutes, we pulled 40 diamonds in 30 minutes in our stream. So like I said, go check out my Twitch streams. They are fun to watch. And, and I enjoy myself over there too. We get a Cody Allen on this one. We might need this for Honus, so we're going to keep that. Uh, let's do the 30 player pack get that out of the way. We don't really need any of these guys anymore So we're just gonna quick sell that 175k. That's a lot of stubs to be to be used on something Ball in the habits three of the headliners We got a nine with Brian McCann, Eno Slaughter, David Price and Luis Aparicio and then the Harmon Kilbrew and flashback John Lester, so let's do our ball in the habit pack. These were not good at all for me this year And it continues to be absolute trash for me. We get another Edwin Diaz though Headliners set nine. These are where all the diamonds should be coming out of but we haven't been lucky yet Maybe the signature choice pack. They're holding that elite for me. Maybe all the silvers We have so many silvers that we got a quick sell. There are a hundred each right now so even if I wanted to just all quick sell all of them, we probably have at least 150,000 subs just in silver in our binder. So final set headliners, set 24, 
Let's go one by one here, kind of change up the mojo a little bit, change up the cards, and we get nothing out of the headliners this time around. We might have uh, dried out all the packs for my pack luck here, who knows. Finest set three. Here we go, 1 in 25 for the rare, 1 in 1, so I guarantee diamond. What do we get out of Finest here? I'm just going to flip it. I'm not even going to go through the animation. We get a 96 Jordan Alvarez, so not what we were looking for there, but another free 5,000 stubs. Nonetheless, this is really the one that we want a rare out of. Even if we get a mid, I'd be cool with a mid too. Just no more base packs out of these signature packs. Here we go. Final one, this is the best one you can get out of the whole Conquest pack. Here we go, and we get the low round, of course. Another 5,000 stubs, so we might as well... Actually, I'm going to pick up the Steve Finley because I did sell him um, earlier and never got him back. So we might as well get Steve Finley back. His swing is amazing, and I, I really love that card regardless. The swing on that Steve Finley is amazing, so... All right, back to the Conquest map 2020. I'm going to look at the goals real quick. Capture 20... Territories you do have to steal fans this time around six million total fans So just do a two mil and then do two mil twice. So three times Play three games to get total a total of six probably would be the easiest way to do that We have a happy new year, which means finish up all of it basically conquer four strongholds You know the deal with these goals finish them up to actually finish the conquest So you start on the left side make sure you pick up all the spots right away um, you don't have to play the strongholds right away if you don't want to. I usually save them for last, but this one I saved, I got like all the way over to the twin side just by doing the spots and then I started doing the strongholds. I started with Colorado, San Diego, Cincinnati, and then twins and I obviously work left to right. So the good stuff will be all the way to the right side here. I'm going to show you guys the map right now. You will see my logos at each of the positions. So here we go. Here is the conquest map for the 2020 map. You're going to see the red logo on there for standard packs. So yes, that's where you will find the standard packs. And then you actually get one ball and habit all the way to the right of the map there. That's where the yellow Atron logo is for the ball and habit pack. So if you just do the spaces that don't have the strongholds, you will be getting just standard packs and one ball and habit pack. So not that good. Definitely, you need to make sure to do the strongholds this time around. I will just go out there and say right now, Colorado and the New York Yankee spots, they are basically just standard packs because you are only going to get a 1,000 stubs with them plus XP. So those aren't really worth it if you want to skip those two strongholds. But then San Diego, you're going to get that 30 choice pack. So that's a guaranteed 5,000 stubs. Cincinnati will give you the Legends and Flashback, a possible Diamond Flashback in that. So... Less than 5,000 stubs for that one too, because if you get a gold, it's only probably going to sell for 1,000 stubs as well. The Minnesota Twins, that is where you get your headliners bundle. That's probably the second best pack. No, I would say third best pack out of this whole strong or stronghold for 2020. Out of all the strongholds, I should say. Twins will have the third best pack. Houston Strohs, those will ha that will have the finest pack, the second best out of this. And then the Miami Marlins, that's where you will find your Signature Series Pack. I think the Signature Series Pack for this 2020 Conquest is what's going to make this whole um, board worth it. Especially if you get a Rare Round. I was really expecting something along the lines of an actual, like, shark map that we got before, like, content-wise. Because, like I said, they did tweet on uh, Twitter. They teased it out that... If we got enough likes or whatever like that, that shark map is coming back or something. But maybe we will get another shark map after this one in like the next couple weeks or something. But if you go back all the way to the main screen, they don't even show anything past uh, the first, which is today just yet. But maybe they'll add on to more to the schedule there. And maybe they'll add on another actual shark conquest map with a ton of different rewards on there. Who knows? But there you have it, your fourth and very first Conquest map of 2020. I really did enjoy how they did Conquest this year with the different Conquest maps, because if you didn't know if this is your first year, in previous years, this was the only Conquest map that they had, which was the big US Conquest map. As you can see here, I never even finished this map up. <laughs> so I never got to use that 88 Ty Cobb, and I never unlocked any of these. I just didn't feel like it was really worth it, 
but they did come out with all these great different maps unique maps and props to SDS for actually trying to make this game mode a little bit better, especially adding the cool rewards that we got out of it. So if you enjoyed this last decade of Atrin content, make sure you guys leave a subscribe. Let's start a brand new decade here with a bang. Leave a like on this video. If you are new, make sure you check out my other videos right here. I am doing an album be the show 20 giveaway four copies will be given out. The links for that giveaway will be in this, the description down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Happy 2020. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.